Today we're going to apply projectile motion to archery. In this situation, we have a bow that can shoot an arrow at 300 feet per second, aiming at a target 150 feet away. The arrow will be released perfectly level, which you can think of as an angle of zero degrees. Our question is, how far will the arrow drop? Which is critical if we want to hit our target. First, we have to figure out the time it takes for the arrow to reach the target. Since we ignore the force of drag during projectile motion calculations, an arrow flying 300 feet per second will take half a second to reach a target 150 feet away. This is the amount of time the arrow will be falling. We then apply our second equation of constant acceleration to the vertical component of motion, which situationally translates to drop distance equal to zero plus one half times negative 32.2, which is gravity in feet per second per second, times 0.5 squared. Note that initial velocity is zero here because our release angle is zero degrees. We have no vertical velocity when the arrow is released. An upward release angle would lead to a positive initial vertical velocity, while a downward release angle would lead to a negative initial vertical velocity. After running the calculation, we get a drop of about four feet. This drop distance must be accounted for to hit our target. 